What's up wizards? I want to talk to you about one of the weirdest types I've ever found in TypeScript. It's a type that you can stumble on really, really easily, the empty object type. You can assign all sorts of strange values to it and a lot of linters will actually just disable it, not allow you to use it. I'm going to tell you about it today, why it's weird and why it might occasionally be useful. If you like this sort of thing, then you should go to TotalTypeScript.com, which is my place that's just mine, where I like to post all sorts of free TypeScript stuff. And it's also got a paid TypeScript course on there. But anyway, let's get into it. Look at this piece of code here. We have an an empty object which we're declaring as this kind of empty object curly braces thing here and we're allowed to pass false to it we're allowed to pass a string to it we're allowed to pass a number to it and we're allowed to pass any object to it the only things that we aren't allowed to pass to it are null and undefined another way we might declare this is if we said interface empty let's say and let's just say we replace all of these with empties this behaves in exactly the same way it's very easy to stumble on this behavior because you might just accidentally leave your interface empty or you might think, okay, I can just put anything in there because you see, oh, okay, so I can just, I can put any old object stuff in there. But no, it actually, you're allowed to pass in strings. You're allowed to pass in falsy values. You're allowed to pass in NAN. So this weird type doesn't represent truthy or falsy values. It seems to represent something different. Let's say we've got a function here called receives empty where empty is supposed to be an empty object. How would we actually type this properly? Well, we can use a record type and use property key, which which uh, represents kind of any property key, so symbol or uh, string or number, and then say never. And now what will happen here is we can actually receive empty. So when we receive nothing here, we have to pass it literally an empty object. If we pass any properties on that object, then it will error. Whereas with this, it will just, you know, let us pass in any value that's not null or undefined. The best way to explain this weird, weird type is with a thought experiment. Let's imagine that we wanted a type that represented all possible things in TypeScript, but we could couldn't use any and we couldn't use unknown. How would we go about representing that? Well, let's give it a go. We've got our imaginary type up here, but what would happen if we tried to do like a massive union here? So like string or number or Boolean or null or undefined, right? But then how do we represent all of the possible objects or arrays or classes or other behaviors in TypeScript? The best way to do this is with an empty object type. So we can say or empty object. But now if you think about it, string is actually assignable to an empty object. So we can actually remove string. We can actually remove number and we can actually remove Boolean too. So this ends up being the kind of like top type except for null and undefined. And by by the way, this is how unknown works under the hood. Unknown is kind of like a union between three possible things, something that could have some value or something that doesn't have any value or something that doesn't have any value. So this is like the top type in TypeScript. The right mental model here is thinking about the behavior of null and undefined versus everything else. If you have something that's null in your system, then if you maybe try to access a property that doesn't exist on it, or because nothing ever exists on null, then it will error here. Here, right? And the same behavior is true as if you have undefined here too. Maybe string is possibly undefined means you it might actually error at runtime if you try to access something on it. But here's the thing. If you have an empty object here, the empty object, if you just try to access a property on it, is not going to error. TypeScript kind of gives you a convenience error here. The property foo does not exist on that type. But that's only because it thinks you're making a mistake here. If we try to run this code at runtime, it will just return undefined. It won't actually error. So you can think of this type as representative representing basically anything that won't error if you try to access a property on it. Because even if it's false or a falsy value, it will still actually let you access properties on it, which is not something we usually think about when we think of truthy or falsy. This type actually starts to get useful when we think about properties which are kind of unknown-ish. Let's say we're receiving some data here and we know that the data is never going to be like undefined or null. It's always going to have some value. But if we type this as an empty object, then this error goes away because it knows that it's not null or undefined. So this type might actually be more narrow and more useful for what you're looking for instead of using unknown. But to be honest, this type is just so magical and so strange that you probably shouldn't be using it in application code. It's just occasionally useful to understand it if you come across it in library code or understand kind of what's going on in TypeScript at a deeper level. So there you go, the empty object type, the strangest type in TypeScript probably. But if you know of a stranger type, then comment it below. Anyway, I've been Matt. You can find more videos kind of like floating around in the ether here, a couple of bubbles here. There should be a little face that you can subscribe to here, another little video you can watch. And I really hope that you enjoyed this and you like these deep dives into TypeScript, where I'm trying to kind of like give you more of the knowledge that I've weirdly managed to accrue in my head from working in library code and working on applications. Anyway, it's been really fun chatting to you and I'll see you very soon.